Welcome to a brief tutorial of Drosophila brain dissection. First, we transfer the flies into an empty vial without food. Then, we knock out the flies by covering the vial with ice. As we knock the flies out, we can pipette PFA, the fixation solution, onto the agar plate. Pipette about 10 beads of PFA onto the plate. Take out the vial and gently tap the vial to dump one fly onto the agar plate. Using a pair of blunt tweezers, grab the body or the wings of the fly. Securely grab the fly and stab into its body to kill it. This prevents the fly from waking up and moving around and makes it easier for you to take off the head. Now we grab the neck and pull off the head. Make sure to immerse the head inside the droplet. Do not let it float on the top. Now switch to a pair of sharp tweezers. We start off the process of dissection by removing the antennae by grabbing the proboscis. Next, we remove the proboscis by grabbing the cuticles around it. You can either grab the cuticle or grab the remaining part at the back of the head from the part that we pull off the neck. Be careful when a droplet gets too dry or gets muddy, then we need to transfer the brain into a fresh droplet. Now that we have removed the antennae and the proboscis, we are going to make a cut at the cuticle between the eyes where we kind of call it the forehead. Then we start to gently peel off the cuticles and the retina step by step. During this process, we always grab a part of the cuticle or retina to remove the rest. Avoid grabbing the brain when doing so. Sometimes during a dissection, as soon as we start to peel off the cuticles, a whole piece of retina will come off with the cuticles. But this does not happen every time. So do not get frustrated if you need to pull off the cuticles and the retina little by little. One tip is you can always clean up your tweezers in an old droplet if there's excess cuticles or fat stuck on them.
for this particular brain I have removed all of the cuticles but now I still have a little piece of the retina on the right side of the brain so now I can clean up the brain by grabbing the trachea near the center of the brain usually the goal is to clean up the brain especially surrounding the area of your imaging so for example if your target neurons are located in optic lobes then you should clean up the optic lobes more and remove all of the trachea and retina but you can leave some trachea at the central brain it makes it easier to transfer the brain if you have some trachea left now that we have the brain we are going to move the brain by grabbing the trachea and transfer it into a microplate put the brain into a well where we have already pipetted seven microliters of pfa solution make sure the brain is immersed in the solution not floating on top of it Before we proceed to dissect the next brain, make sure to wrap the microplate with tin foil and allow the brains to be fixed on ice. It is crucial to make sure that each brain is fixed for exactly 60 minutes. After fixation, transfer brains into adjacent walls filled with PBST NGS. To remove PFA, wash the brains three times with PBST NGS by pipetting out the old solutions and pipetting in the new ones. Wait about one minute between each washes. Always remember to change pipette tips between washes. When pipetting solutions in and out of the wells, it helps to stabilize the pipette tip with a finger. After three washes, place each brain in fresh PBST NGS and allow each brain to be blocked for 30 minutes at room temperature. Wrap them in tin foil. And now we can proceed with the staining protocol.